Hello, welcome back to Pokemon Dark Rising. Um, when we last left off, we we're trying to evolve Mr. Soar and Gibble, and I was training him off camera, and Petey, Peter, whatever his name is, found me and challenged me to a battle. And during that battle, Mr. Soar leveled up and became level 16. So he's probably going to evolve after this battle. And I wanted you to be here to see that. So I just started recording. And I hope I can beat this trap pinch. Ew, it's not good. Sleep powder. Yes, please fall asleep. Nice. Okay, I think we have this in the bag. This guy can't do nothing to us while he's asleep. And we use poison powder. Probably frack. Oh, we can't give two statuses to him at the same time. That sucks. We just need him. We need his health. We need all that health. And hopefully I can level up Gibble a bit more in this episode. He did get to level 22 in this battle. So only two more levels until he evolves. I was actually found PD while I was looking for some higher leveled Pokemon. And then PD was like there and I was like and my character was like said PD you can't be here too far away from home. And PD was like I'll tell you to a Pokemon battle and if I win I'll get to stay and I'll be like shut up PD. What Mr. Shore is evolving? <gasps> I had no idea. Oh this is this is dramatic. Those flashing lights. I wonder what it's gonna turn into. Probably gonna turn into a Charmander. Oh. Oh, it's not a Charmander. Dang it. I'm not smart. Congratulations, your Mr. Sora evolved into Ivysaur. Nice. Yep, yeah, you lost. Sorry, Pete, but I have to do this for your sake. It's okay, I'll challenge you when I'm ready. Just wait till I get stronger. Can't wait to battle you again. Well, I'm off now. You better run. Okay. I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center. And yeah. Hopefully I well not hopefully. My my clone is still here. In the last episode I said he he was evil, but he seemed like a pretty nice guy. He's just chilling on top of a tree. I don't know how we got up there though. I'm not even gonna question it. Wait, what? Put some tax there. I don't know. I'll check when I get back out. Wait, did I remember to put Shelmet in that? Yeah, I put Shelmet in the PC. Oh, while I'm here, I'm gonna show you the Pokemon that, that little girl gave me. Because it's. I think it's kind of important. See, it's a Muna, level 1. And I don't have time to train that, so I put it in a box. Professor Oak's PC. I could look at his emails. But I don't want to. Oh, I can run in here. Nice. I didn't really. I just assumed that I can run everywhere, but I never thought I could run in the Poke Center. Finally, I said and I got the name right. Okay, we're gonna go past this place. Because. Meh. Lab. Sorry. Um, Lava Burn Forest. Whoa. This is a nice train of change of scenery. I'm just gonna find some Pokemon. Ooh, Houndor. Nice. He's still not a not a very high level. Can you Dragon Breath? What it's all got? Frack. That is an annoying move. Ooh, Torkoal. I think he has allergies. It's a pretty big sneeze. Or he's just really mad and steam is coming out of his nose. Or he's... I don't know. Something. I don't know why I'm yawning because it's 12.05 in the afternoon. Literally just okay in the afternoon. And I gotta find sleep, so I don't know. Why well, I'm tired. I actually had a really good sleep. I don't even know why I'm talking. Oh yeah, I know why I'm talking about it. 
I'm stupid. I call myself stupid a lot. I don't know. I just noticed that Chibble has like a pill on his head. A little thing right above his eye. Looks like a pill. Probably just like a flotation thing. It looks like a... Oh, you ain't gonna curse me. Did his attack hit? I don't know. I don't know what, how curse hits. Yes, Chibble gained. Ooh. He's almost a good level. Ooh. Maybe he can evolve by the end of this recording. That'd be great. That'd be the best. Okay, we're just gonna keep using D on this because he's a tough opponent. He's a little dog. Yes, Chibble dug a hole. You can't roar at me when I'm in a hole. Oh, one hit. Nice. Good job, Chibble. I'm not gonna say high five and then high, my, high five myself again. That was a little awkward last time. Well, I don't know when it wouldn't be awkward high fiving yourself. Unless you're like really enthusiastic about it. Is there like only fire types in this place? Or like dark types? That's pretty cool. And also, since we have a ground or rock type move, we can use uh, though that to attack. That's pretty useful. And it's just one hit. KOs them. So. 304 is pretty good. I think we'll evolve by the end of this episode. That'd be good. So many fire types. Now that I'm complaining, I could use a fire type on my team, I think. Can I? I have a dragon type, a flying slash normal type. And a grass type. So, yeah, I could have a use for a fire type. Maybe a Growlithe. He could become an Arcanine if I could find a fire stone. That'd be pretty cool. I realized that there's mushrooms here. Ooh, a Vulpix. That Vulpix looks kind of big. I don't know, maybe it's just my, my mind, but. It looks a little bit too big to be a Vulpix. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, we're getting ever so close to becoming level 24 and evolving. Um, I hope my information was right when I found that fact. It was on a, it was on Cerebi.net, and that's like a Pokemon website thing, so. I'm pretty sure it's the right information. I really hope so, because I've been waiting for this to evolve, and you've probably been waiting for this to evolve. And I think it'll be interesting. Well, not the evolution itself, but seeing what its evolved form can do, because I've never had a Gibble. This is my first time, because I never really wanted one, I guess. Well, I wanted one, but I never caught one, because they were kind of rare. I don't know. Maybe I just never tried to catch one. I don't even remember, because I was young when I played the games that had it in it. It's like eight or nine. Freaking some age. Now I'm old. I'm like almost 13. It's not even old at all when you compare to people that are like 90, but it's old for a kid. Kind of. Seems old. Oh, we're so close. Probably at this next fight, we're going to evolve. And it's going to be amazing. What the frack is this? I just watched a YouTube video that had something about Dar Dar Darumaka. I was going to say Darumuka or something like that because I'm a stupid little punk. Oh, oh yes. We now are going to evolve. Yes. Okay, guys, this is it. What? Chibble is evolving. <gasps> dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. Oh. 
this just got real? Well, no, it didn't. If Pokemon was real, that would be great. We now have a Garchomp, and his pills got bigger. Nice. Gabite. Yes. Chibla trying to learn Slash. Mm, sure. Maybe. Mm. You know, I don't use takedown much, and it gives me recoil, so let's give it to that, even though Slash isn't that good of a move. But as I was saying, it'd be pretty cool if Pokemon were real, but freaking legendaries would scare the crap out of me if I ever saw them. I'd be like, holy crap, that's big. It'd be like the size of a jet. And Mewtwo would just be, like, destroying stuff. And, of course, the, like... Regular guns couldn't take them out because they're freaking Pokemon. They could just hyper beam and destroy everything. And that'd just be scary. But then the Pokemon Rebellion looks like a bunch of awesome Pokemon could attack the legendaries and defeat them. And that'd be awesome. Especially if I was one of them. And I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. There's not a sign there, but there's text. Nice. That guy has the best hair. Seriously, look at his hair. Look at that hair. I'm gonna talk. Thank you for taking care of those annoying troublemakers. You look at me when I'm talking to you. Ah, good. I need more. No, I don't need more potions. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna head through Lava Burn Path. <gasps> I should train my Pidgey more. Back in Twist Woodlands. Yes, that is a good idea. Nice. Good idea. I'm not gonna high five myself, but I'm extremely tempted to. <gasps> I'm gonna give my XP share to. Dang it. Look at this Gabite. Look at it. It's beautiful. I'm freaking double the level of this Shelmet. I'm gonna give my XP share to Derpbird so I can just fight things. And, yeah. I noticed that Mr. Soar had a XP share. That's how he was getting XP from my fighting, from fighting without, fighting or not using him. Yeah, that's how he was getting the XP. That's proved to be quite useful. He was at level, like... That was pretty good. Spinny Slash, test it out. Oh, that's a good move. Seems. Yeah, go Dripper. Here, I'm gonna go into the Lava Burn Path. Because there I can freaking heal better. Train better. A little bit better than I would if some other freaking Abra. Now she's gonna tease me and run away. Well, I'm gonna leave first, so be quiet. How does it feel when it happens to you? Huh? Hmm? I, I was afraid it was gonna be another Abra. So, it's gonna be pretty easy to beat. I, I think I should heal, or not heal. I should train my Mr. Soar to level like 20, and I should heal Dirt Bird to like level 21. That'll take like five years, maybe. I'm trying not to do so much off camera stuff, because, but I end up doing it anyway because I'm stupid. I think the third time I've called myself stupid in this episode. So. Good. I five myself, but I will do it later, so it's not awkward. I'm just gonna heal my. I'm only healing this to get the PP back, because you can only use a move a certain amount of times. And yeah. Um, I'm gonna end this recording here. If you like the video, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe to Sharebomb Gamers. If you like all our videos, and goodbye. See you next time.